What's going on guys, we're back here on Pokemon Reborn, episode 14, this is going to be part 24, and last time we beat the level 80 Arceus that L had, well, it was a ditto really, but if you want to watch that, um, it is just the previous episode, and oh fuck, we're still here, um, and all our Pokemon are dead, <laughs> awesome. Um, but I believe that's why we, yeah, that's why we kept this thing. That's why I wanted to preserve it. Just so we wouldn't really have to go back and heal. Alright, let's get up on out of here. Hello? This is fun. Come back and play again sometime. For a long, long time. What the flying fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Who the fuck was that? <laughs> I do not remember that at all from my last playthrough. I mean, I guess it was just a tiny detail and... My guess is that it hasn't been elaborated upon, but... Shit. And uh, first of all, I want to apologize for uh, the last video skipping some frames, and that's mostly because, like, um, yeah, parts of the game as I was searching for the department stickers was just, were just so slow that I had to, like, amp up the, uh, Max frame frames per second, and you know YouTube can only record up to like 60, and I had it at like 160, so I put it back down to like 88. So I don't think it should be skipping any more frames. Like during the battle, I would realize that my voice commentary was ahead of the video because it was skipping frames. So yeah, uh, we're gonna keep that in control this episode, hopefully. So yeah, we're back up here. Uh, oh, there's Radimus and uh, Kane, and this Adrian guy, who apparently was down there not long before before us. Oh, the Grant Gate open, yeah. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Um, this is the entrance to Reborn. Oh yeah, I guess maybe he didn't see when the Grand Staircase blew up. <laughs> Where are we? It's Reborn City, North City Award. Hahaha. <laughs> Who must be new here? Disgusting. <laughs> Fucking guard war. So he must have been here like a long time ago. And I guess Radimus is older, so he might remember this stuff too. Everyone's a gym leader, I'm not surprised at this point. Oh, it's probably that gym that's like destroyed in Coral Ward. Yeah, I knew it. And of course, we're gonna have to walk through by ourselves while they just teleport. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and pause until we get there. Or I guess not because, um, trainers, yeah. Who do I have up front? I think it's Lindsay, so we'll probably be fine. Oh, perfect. 
And it's raining, so I can just... Well, I don't need to use Hurricane, but if I wanted to use Hurricane, I could. See, this is one of those times when I... Um... Have to use Hurricane. And I barely miss out on the KO, but he gets confused. And the Hacks pulls through for me once again. Which, this is actually kind of bad. I don't want to battle people right now because I'm already pretty high leveled and my cap is at 60 and I mean who knows how uh, how many times Rhydamus is going to kick our ass before we manage to defeat him actually yeah it's not too far away so I guess I don't need to pause really unless this game slows down anymore even though I have the FPS control and like I don't want to turn it up just because as you saw last video um, when the video gets uploaded, it'll skip all those frames, all the extra frames that I put in. Or that the FPS control allows. Okay, it's starting to speed up. Uh, might be because I have some other stuff open, like I have Showdown open, I have Skype open, so I might close those things. In a little bit, if it gets really bad. So yeah, nothing. that gym is destroyed. <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> Disgusting. Also makes me kind of question, what the heck was he doing down there? Like, did he just fall, or was he there on purpose? Historical artifact. Shit, how long ago is he from? Yeah, I mean, the city was ruined by, like, natural disaster as well. Quote-unquote, natural disaster, aka Team Meteor. Yeah, he doesn't know anything about that. <laughs> He's been frozen in time for, but then why didn't that happen to us when we were we were down there for a good while with um L? Um, I guess maybe it's just random, or maybe um. Maybe Adrian wasn't really frozen in time as much as maybe he just fell asleep there. And like it's the birthplace of Arceus, he could have stayed alive there just in a coma for 10 years. Okay, so that's, so that's why he was there. Oh yeah, that's a good point. They probably ceased function because he fell in there. Because if you remember, there was a gear right there that we had to slide past that wasn't moving. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, this is actually true. It seems like maybe when people are down there, some for some reason the gates don't work. Mm hmm. Oh, good point. We had the keys, so maybe that um, prevented us from being stuck there in time. Or experience a experience some kind, some kind of warp in time. Like, have you all seen um, Interstellar when they go on that one planet and it's like twenty six years and ten minutes, <laughs> or something like that? Revenge. <laughs> 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 
Fucking Gardevoir. I don't know how many of you will get that reference, but... I... I guess, like, if you're in college, you might. If, you, if you're, like, in... If you were majoring in English, you probably read that... Uh, story. And I'm not majoring in English. I actually think I read that in high school. Yeah, Mythos. Stop telling me. So, he leaves. And then after this, we're going to be fighting Radomus for, our, I think, our 8th badge. Yes! Back to the castle. Let's go all together. Although, I guess technically I could have gone through the... Now that the door works again, it wouldn't have been as much of an ordeal to get back here as before. And... Oh yeah, Luna's been here the entire time. What is this man wearing? Ah, oh, looks like, um, Gallade. <laughs> Why not? Elias. <laughs> so wait, he can... He can brainwash people? <laughs> oh, well, I guess um, Gard of it's Gardevoir, because it used hypnosis. I guess that makes sense. He has the um, Amethyst Pendant again. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall much? need to heal? Yeah, that was definitely L. But, um... I guess I did waste a couple power points. I mean, there's no cost to just healing anyway. Is there anything up here? Guess not. Uh, may as well save. Live at Ben and Castle Drim. I forgot Gar Garth of Gardevoir is like the reporter of Reborn. She's like an anchor or something. So basically, this puzzle, um, it's just a bunch of little chess things where you have to place the king in the checkmate and then you proceed. Yeah, like you can't capture and they can't move, but you have to find like some sort of way to put them in checkmate in in that position.
Who's this? Oh, he's a trick room. Really? Last time I didn't use that. Huh. Oh, are you kidding me? The field effect makes trick room last longer? That's crazy. That's so crazy. Yeah, it's probably Gardevoir. In that case, I don't know, should I- I might want to equip like some of my faster Pokemon with Quick Law. That way, I still might go first, even under the Trick Room, but... I don't know. I mean... Ride Powder is the best item in the game still. <laughs> so... Okay, so we got a Pawn, and... Okay. So, okay, we just move them like this, I guess that's fine. Wait, what? Why can't I... And... In case you didn't know, pawns can't capture right in front of them. They have to do it diagonally, so... Actually... Huh. So is this a king? It kind of looks like a Nido King, but well, if he's in this position, he, he can actually capture me, capture me and escape um, checkmate. So that's I think that's the purpose of the pawn. So I think that's the correct formation. Huh? Really? I mean, this is a pawn, right? I'll probably just um, ask Elias then. It could be a rook. In that case. Wait, damn it! I just saw the pieces. Um. Okay, no, it's definitely a pawn. Damn it! It's reset. <laughs> and this is definitely just another king. Oh, if this is a king, you can't. Yeah, I can't put myself in um. In check as well. So, yeah, that'd be stupid. For some reason, I thought that was a. Uh, Queen. So I got a slow bro. Ooh. Good thing I got that shadow ball. It did surprising amount of nothing. <laughs> the bright powder coming through. Yeah, I do see why Amethyst hid these so far back into the game. And even like at this point of the game, it's really hard to get to that floor because the adventurine forest um thing is it's really kind of confusing because i mean it's kind of the game just gets so much less challenging that was not a properly formed sentence but whatever um yeah the bright powder thing is just like we're born on easy mode what all right whatever So we're gonna move on to the next room. Um, there's a healing thing right over here. There's no reason why I shouldn't use it. If the puzzle resets, if when I go back in, then Amethyst is a bitch. Okay, never mind. Everything's still there. Mm, this time it's Kamina. I mean, fuck, Kane. <laughs> we're Kamina. Okay, so let's see, this is, um, that's not a pawn, and this is a pawn, and this is a knight. It's kind of funny, because, like, actual Escavalier are not really that agile at all. I can't really imagine seeing one jump. Um, okay, this is a bishop. A uh, bisharp, yeah, that makes sense. Uh... So I guess this probably goes on the other side then, because... All these pieces are... Ah, oh, shit. I can't get it back out after... <laughs> I have to go out and then back in. Okay. So this... This bishop... 
What? <sighs> These are really hard to move. So I guess back here wouldn't be bad. And then this, um... Cavalier. So I only have to corner the queen. Interesting. I guess. Man, the bad thing is I can't put him here. That would be ideal, actually. And then this pawn. Well, I guess now that we do, now that we know that I don't have to be like an immediate threat, I just have to cut the um, king off. That certainly does help. And actually, I don't want to put him there, really. Actually, no, I do. Because then, that ensures the king cannot move diagonally. Actually, I think this might be it. That's what I was saying in the last, um... Yeah, the king is not in check here. He wasn't in check the last time either. Damn it. At least be consistent about it. I guess I'll do that. Let's see if. Wait, what? No. Well, I guess maybe another piece could. Yeah, this one. That's why the cavalier is there. This is true. So, I probably have to use this piece to place to place this um, king in check. Okay, I think I know what I know what to do now. And then this bishop has to um, play some some kind of role in all this. Probably cut off. Um, yeah, I think I figured it out. But moving these pieces is gonna be pretty tedious. So I'll pause until I get it right. Okay, I was mistaken. This is not a pawn. This is a rook, apparently. Uh, it took me longer than expected to do that one. But I think I got it. Wait. Oh, fuck. This is in the wrong place. There we go. Yeah, like I said, these, te these pieces are really tedious to move. <sighs> now we gotta face this guy. With... Probably use Simon for this one. Sigalith. I'll go for Swords Dance. Man, what can this thing do to me? Oh yeah, because the basically the uh, chessboard adds like a rock type effect effect to psychic moves, and I actually four times resist that, so I took that pretty well. So Simon is definitely going to be key in this battle. Infinite potential, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for all of this. Actually, I have to leave in like... Um... 20 minutes, so I really want to get this gym battle done, so I'm gonna pause and just like check somebody else's play. I'll just check Shofu's, really. And then put those pieces together, because I really don't want to waste any time here. Alright, so I got that out of the way. It took me a while, even with Shofu's walkthrough, I only watched like a... a little bit of it, but yeah, you have to basically promote one of your pawns by moving him across the board, make him a knight, and then you can corner him there. So that should be the solution. Them, perfect. Not even worry about it. One.
Hmm, let's see. I'm actually gonna go ahead and save. Alright, so it looks like we finally solved it. And that king is gonna turn into a trainer. So yeah, basically this is the formation. You gotta place this um, bish bishop back here to check the king from afar and force him to move. And then the uh, knights here and the queen here will, pre will prevent that. And then basically after that you gotta protect your own king by placing the pawn here and the other knight just here. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, you gotta promote one of your uh, pawns into a queen uh, to pull that off. So yeah, it'll just be right there so you can just move them across. But yeah, that's enough of that. Aw, oh, shit, I forgot to switch out, because this man has a Wobbuffet, I believe. And now we're trapped. Damn it. Don't use counter, please. Come on. And I bet if, even if I had chosen Flamethrower, I would have chosen the right one, which is really stupid. Watch this thing have Encore. I'm gonna sword dance twice just in case. I'm not actually confident I can kill this thing. Alright, chill. And um, I'm gonna go heal up. And actually, I have like 10 minutes to get ready to leave uh, for the weekend, so. Probably gonna have to cut this recording short and continue this episode when I get back to fight uh, Radimus. So yeah, we'll be back when that happens. I'll go ahead and uh, pause it. And save the game. Alright, what's going on guys? We're back and we're going to defeat the gym leader Radimus. And um, I heard they actually changed, they changed this gym so it's actually a double battle now. So let's see, who do I want to lead with? I think I want to lead with the Zumeral and um, Pyroar. I think they cover each other rather, rather well. So that's who we're going to go with. <clears throat> so all of this has been cleared. So we don't have to worry about any of these puzzles anymore. Alright, looks like everybody's here for the show. We got Kane, L. <laughs> Watch, I'm about to. Six on six double vote. Yeah, see, I knew it. Let's see what he leads out with. I imagine he wants to send out something with... Man, this sucks. Both of them have Trick Room. And both of them are female, so Rivalry is going to lower my, um... Yeah, how much damage I'll be doing to them. I'm actually going to go for the double target onto Exeggutor. I really want this thing gone. As, yeah, because of Rivalry, I barely miss on the KO, but... And then Rionicus is probably going to carry Trick Room, so that sucks. I see, actually, choose. Oh my god, he gets a crit, of course. I hate this game. As, um, luckily for me, he switches into Metagross. I am completely okay with that. As that doesn't kill, but it burns. That's really unfortunate for Radimus. Metagross is strength. Aw, oh, man, that sucks, because. Come on, you can't do this to me! And he's gonna use a full restore on that. Man, that sucks. But... Once again, Simon's gonna be the key to winning this battle, as I'm actually gonna go for the Earthquake and, um... 
could go for Swords Dance. Nah, I want to do that, because Reuniclus... Can Reuniclus even set up the Trick Room? I don't think it can. I'm going to go for it. I don't care. And then... Okay, yeah, I'm going to go for the Swords Dance. And... The Shadow Ball onto Reuniclus. If he goes for Trick Room this turn, that's going to suck. What? Oh, come... Oh, you can't be serious. Ugh. I'm about to lose this battle. He's probably, he probably has another full restore, man. Or like a hyper potion. Well, at least he didn't get the chance to, um... Man, this is so messed up. And there it is. That did... Oh yeah, it's burned. I forgot about that. And I still have to deal with this freaking Goss of Gardevoir. Which is just going to destroy my life. I might as well double target this, um, not the zero. Why did I do zero? And why are all these Pokemon faster? But I managed to knock it out. Okay, cool. Now I kind of wish he had set up Trick Room because now this Gardevoir is going to destroy my life. Luckily, I guess I don't have to worry about this Metagross. And it sucks I didn't get the boost from Charge Beam because now that would have been helpful right here. Calm Mind? Come on. Come on, please, Metagross, do not target. Okay, it missed. This! <laughs> See, I knew Heavy Slam was gonna come into play here. I might actually win this. I'm honestly surprised right now. Um, I could go for the... Do I have, like, a Hyper Potion or something? Uh, I guess I don't, because I'm the player and I don't have resources, apparently. I do have this, though. I just want to survive enough to make, pull off the knockoff against Slowking, and I'm just going to go for the Charge Beam. Hopefully I get the boost this time. I get a crit and the boost. Nice. Looks for Ice Punch. Oh, of course, man. And that shit happens right there. Kind of surprised he doesn't have, like, a full hero or something, because now his Metagross... His Metagross is losing him the match, because I'm able to just double target everything on the other side. Man, he's just missing right now. It's... Okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, these hands wasn't really going to be useful anyways. I'm down to my last two Pokemon. Man, that sucks. It sucks because this thing knows Ice Punch. I gotta flinch him. It's my chance. He's probably not going to knock me out in one hit. But it's going to do a lot. And I only have one more healing item. Luckily, Chelsea's been getting boosted. I don't know how many Pokemon he has left. Magic Room. I don't even know what that does. Held items lose effect. Nah. <laughs> Considering I'm holding on all, all Bright Powder, I shouldn't be, um... Yeah, I shouldn't... I probably shouldn't do that. As I actually do get the flinch, and, um... I guess that explains why Strength was missing earlier, because... Yeah, I did have the Bright Powder, so I got really lucky. Um... Yeah, I think I just won. Not even bad. <laughs> even if you, if you had taken out Lindsay right there... Um, Chelsea was like at plus three or something, and Metagr and um, Shadow Ball would have killed. So I managed to pull out the win despite a really rough start. He definitely shouldn't have gone with Cal for Calm Mind on uh, Gardevoir because I just bopped it with the uh, Heavy Slam. <laughs> and the crit on Azumaro sucked. Um, Focus Blast on Excadrill that sucked. Probably should have seen that coming. And yeah, I should just gone for Earthquake. I don't know what I was thinking. So, I got the Millennium Badge, so Pokemon up to level 65 will obey me now. And I get Trick Room. Um, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. Just because, first of all, in an in-game th run-through, there is value to having both Psychic and Psyshock. And on top of that, I have quite a few fast Pokemon. I have Noivern, uh, Pyroar, Excadrill isn't really slow. It's really just um, Hariyama and Azumarill. Ooh, next we're going to be facing off against Luna in the Isle of Valley. I'm not surprised. Everybody's a gym leader in this damn game. And again, I don't foresee myself having... Oh. A blackout. 
what I was saying is I'm not going to have trouble with that gym either just because I have I have Hariyama, I have Azumarill, um, Excadrill can take hits. Like, the only thing really weak to um, Dark I have on my team is, like, uh, Gothitelle. Is there anything else? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god, you got you gotta stop Kane. Wait, you're just gonna leave me here? This is really strange. I like how the music starts with the beginning and then it just stops. I think that's kind of an oversight. Elias. Assailant. Oh, okay. Cool. Wait, am I, am I going to be able to heal up my Pokemon? Ah, oh, come on. Can't do this to me. I'm really not. I mean, it is L. Worst character in the game. That's true. Why did he do that? So he knows Solaris. I guess is he a well obviously he's affiliated with Team Meteor. <sighs> yeah, how about how I beat his Garchomp's ass? Did he tell you that part? Nah, I didn't think so. I guess that is something L would, would do is like um, be on their cause for whatever's down there. Ah, nice cane coming through. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's true. I haven't been able to heal. So wait, we're not gonna heal? <laughs> so he's one of the elite. Kind of makes me wonder why he even needed the Ditto Arsis in the first place. Then that's really strange. So I wonder if they're talking about the same elite as um. The one that Laura's part of. Because from what I understand, she's an Elite Four too. And. Oh, powerful the Lord. Damn, Kane. Oh, and I guess, um, yeah, there's this thing. Alright, cool. I can work with that. So, um, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, as next time. Next time, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have to go find Luna, I guess. So uh, yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed this episode, and make sure you um, make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that like button. I always mess up the outro.